Hello Libra, welcome to your reading for the end of November. I hope you're doing amazing. These have already been pre-shuffled. I'm not sure why I went to pick up the cards again. It's okay, I guess we needed one more shuffle. All right, let's jump straight into it. All right, so we have the Ace of Swords, the Strength card, the Devil, so Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Leo, Capricorn, Three of Cups, Cancer, the world, Aquarius, Taurus, Gemini, or why did I say Gemini? Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio. Pisces, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. And bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands. <clears throat> so you have a new you have a new cycle about ready to start. Let's take another card on that devil before we move on, okay? One card regarding the devil. Okay. Love for Libra, please. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And children. Okay, free yourself and children. The soul, the truth, and stability. All right. This looks really beautiful. It looks absolutely positively beautiful. In fact, this is reminding me of a Libra Libra couple that I met. So if you are out there, <laughs> the soulmate and the nine of cups looks like this is for you, for, the, for that particular couple. And I also feel like the butterfly is expressing that transformation that both of you have within your relationship as a result of your connection to each other. It's absolutely beautiful. So I do feel that like these three cards are for the two of you. All right. So now for everybody else. <laughs> for everybody else. Ace of Wands and the world. So when we receive the Ace of Wands, that's a new opportunity. It could be some sort of creative idea, some sort of creative development. With the world and the Ace of Wands, there's a focus on the fact that any difficulties, any struggles you went through in the past, you're moving away from them now, which is fantastic. You're at a point of stability, absolutely beautiful. There's some honest truth that's going to be expressed to you or recently has been with the Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. And in the past, if we look at this Three of Cups, normally Three of Cups is like friends, family, that sort of thing. It can also be a third party situation. So if you were dealing with a third party party situation that's in the past. Uh, it looks like that's coming to an end. You're going to be able to move forward towards happiness. For those of you that are new to my readings, my nine card spreads work like this. This is the past. This is the present. This is the future. I also read diagonally and across, sometimes backwards, and in a diamond. So sometimes I'll get information on one thing that's not related to another because the nine card spreads tend to 
involve a longer period of time. And so we tend to see, we tend to see a lot of different things in it. So looking right here at the top, we have a situation in which with the Ace of Swords, the Strength card, and the Devil, clarified by the Six of Coins, there seems to be a focus on money. And there seems to be a focus on, you know, whether or not you are settled, that you have everything you need. You probably have gone through a period of time on your own and wondered, you know, when will there be a support system, you know, in my life? I see that you've done fine on your own. But I also see we have somebody coming in that you're very passionate about that's also going to be very helpful on a career front, an encouragement front, a love front, financial front. Now, whatever news you received here has brought complete, complete knowledge as to what you want in the future. So this may have been a past situation that was difficult, that's changed your viewpoint on what relationships should be like, what your job should be like, what a happy life is, right? Many of us have gone through that with the current state of the world at present. We also see with the Six of Swords that anything you were dealing with in the past, you have released, you have let go of, you are moving forward. We see you leaving behind the difficulties, the struggles, the worries. They're in the past. Why? Because you're getting a wish come true. You're almost to the wish come true point. Right now you're a little bit at the confusion point. <laughs> is this really what I want? Is it going to work out? Is everything going to be fine? Maybe a little bit, wor a little bit of worries kind of sinking in. But it all surrounds this great new idea. So if this is... If this is career, it's a beautiful idea about, you know, a new job, about new business, something like that. If this is, if this is not career and this is love, it's a little bit of confusion about where is it going to go? Is this, is this the right thing? Is this the right timing? Um, maybe it feels too good to be true with this nine of coins and that's causing a sense of worry and fear. But I feel like there's going to be an honest discussion here between you and another person that's either going to make that job seem right or it's going to make that relationship seem right or it's going to make some aspect of your future feel like it's the right move for you. Now, you do have free yourself to take back control of your life. It's possible you've been hurt in the past and so there may be a struggle with trust. But I do see stability here. Stability on the job front, stability on the love front. Libra, I was gonna give you an extended, but I think I'm gonna leave it there. It looks really good. It looks really, really good. Now, it does say your love life is being affected by children. Sometimes one of you has children. Sometimes, sometimes one of you wants children and the other does not. Sometimes there's a focus on, you know, there's time running out, that sort of thing. And then the soul, I, I really feel like this is a transformation, that you are going through a transformation. The world is saying the past is gone. The difficulties are gone. The new is here to stay. The new is happy. It's, it's beautiful. It's fanta fantastic. And with the butterfly there, I feel like you feel it in your soul, right? You feel that happiness within you. You feel that sense of peace and contentment. You feel that this is a wish come true, whatever area of your life this is. You feel happy. It looks fantastic. I love it. Good luck to you, Libra. Stay strong. Stay positive. Beautiful movement in the very near future. Love and light to you. Bye-bye. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.